Hey, what's going on? Pete Francis for Blues Rock Review. In this video, we're talking Top 5 Arrival Sons Albums. Arrival Sons is an American blues rock band based out of Long Beach, California. And ever since they released their debut album in 2009, this band has pretty much toured relentlessly. And not only is Rival Sons one of the best blues rock bands today, they're one of the best rock bands, period. So without further ado, here are the top five Rival Sons albums. Coming in at number five, we've got Great Western Valkyrie, which was released in 2014. And this is the first album Rival Sons released with Dave Bestie as the group's bass player. You've got a lot of great tracks on this album. You've got Electric Man, which was the lead single. You've got Open My Eyes, which in my opinion is one of the best songs Rival Sons has ever done. And then the album ends with, of course, the epic Destination on Course. All in all, Great Western Valkyrie, excellent album. Coming in at number four, we have Head Down, which was released in 2012. And at this time, Rival Sons had a lot of momentum. They just released Pressure in Time in 2011. And I think Head Down is probably best known for the lead track, Keep On Swinging, which is probably one of the most successful singles Rival Sons have had to date. What I also like about this album is the variety. The band did a lot of experimenting on this album, and I think it paid off. Manifest Destiny Part 1 was a track I think a lot of fans were waiting for because it's probably one of the jammiest tracks Rival Sons have done, and they hadn't really spread their wings in that way to that point of their careers. So overall, head down, fantastic album. Coming in at number three, we have the Rival Sons EP, which was the first album Rival Sons released with Earache Records, and it's only six tracks, but considering it's number three on our list, I think that just goes to show how strong the tracks were. The lead track is Get What's Coming, and that's the track where I first heard Rival Sons. I saw the music video on YouTube, and when I saw that, I was like, what do we have here? Because at that time, you were not hearing a lot of music like that. And it definitely grabbed my attention. And soon after that, we really kind of started to dig into Rival Sons at Blues Rock Review. And I think that's a fantastic track. You've also got Torture, which is another standout track of Rival Sons. So like I said, there's only six tracks on this album, but it's an awesome album. Coming in at number two, we have Rival Sons' self-released debut album, Before the Fire, which came out in 2009. I think for a lot of listeners and a lot of music fans out there, the debut album is always one that you go back to. It's one that you gravitate towards because a lot of people just hold special memories for that debut album. And I think that's the case for Rival Sons Before the Fire. There's so many great tracks on this album. You've got Tell Me Something, you've got Memphis Sun, you've got On My Way. And really this was a statement album from Rival Sons that said rock and roll is alive and well. And coming in at number one, 2011's Pressure in Time, which was the first full-length album Rival Sons released on Earache Records, and this was really the album that started to launch Rival Sons' career. And that title track, man, is just killer. That riff, Jay Buchanan's vocals, I mean, he is just belting on that one. And that music video has over 4 million views on YouTube. It's definitely the most popular track Rival Sons have done to date. And really, this album is just very succinct, it's very compact, it's just high energy and it just flies through. The album is only like a half hour long, but every track is killer. There's so many catchy tunes on here. You've got Get Mine, Burn Down Los Angeles, just a phenomenal album from start to finish. So what are your favorite Rival Sons albums? We wanna know what your top five is. I'm sure everyone's gonna have a list that's a little bit different, but we'd love to hear it. So feel free to leave a comment down in the comments section below. As always, subscribe to the YouTube channel and thanks for watching.